I like your ride. I first started skating, skateboarding when I was about uh, 15, maybe 14. I was a freshman in high school and um, I had a long board and I just started riding and then I just decided to start skateboarding. Good. I was riding down Covey Road with a couple of friends and um, I was going so fast that when I was carving it wouldn't slow down so I just bombed it down to the bottom like a <laughs> oh, that's probably not very correct. <laughs> so I bombed it down down the road towards the bottom and I was going so fast that I got speed wobbles and all of a sudden I just couldn't control it so I stepped off and the motion was just so so strong that it knocked me over and I fell and got the scrapes. Bra. Bra. Keep them up. Bra. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. You're good dude. One of the speed monsters and I hit the dip and it was like, uh, yeah. wham, bam! <laughs> yeah. I have a Walmart board. <laughs> I know. It doesn't matter, it can't go downhill. Yeah, but I'm not going to be able to keep up with you guys. I first learned how to skate when I was probably three. I had a SpongeBob, no, three or four. I had a SpongeBob board and I'd take it to the skate park and I'd try and ride the half pipe and I'd usually end up falling. Missing these two top screws, and this <coughs> one like fell down. I know it popped up, and so I needed to get those screws before I can ride back. Yeah, uh, I'd like to go pro, but if I weren't pro, I'd be ruined because I'd turn into a person like Rob Dunek, and <laughs> after going pro, I'd get my own TV show and then be. I don't have to say Corey Kennedy. Why? Because his style is better than Lizard King's. Well, Corey Kennedy can't stop <laughs> like Lizard King. He doesn't <laughs> Except he front side flipped 10 stair. Oh yeah. Lizard King. Lizard, Lizard King like did like a 30 foot <laughs> 